Hey guys, it's Thrift Hunter here. Got my garage sale finds for the 14th of April. Uh, didn't get out of sales yesterday, but I've uh, been working all week. I worked about 45 hours, so I'm pretty exhausted. Also got a uh, cold, so I'm getting over that right now. Uh, but still made it out to garage sales. Uh, I had to go because I didn't go last week. Uh, it was raining yesterday. Uh, didn't think there'd be be very many uh, sales, but turns out uh, it was more quality than quantity, which is uh, fine by me because I hate going to like 30 sales and getting nothing. So we've just got a ton of stuff to show you. I got an update. Uh, just been doing real well. So let's uh, show you what we found today. All right, guys. We've got this Tiffany & Co. all back from the uh, Tiffany & Co. store. All new pouches, everything's all uh, polished up. Uh, let's see, I've got one right here. Show you. This nice necklace. As I showed in one of my other videos, sort of, but you can't really see it that well. This all got polished up at Tiffany & Co. See if I can get a shot. The marking. There we go. Tiffany and Co. 925. Nice uh, necklace, and uh, I've got the bracelet, matching bracelet for that. Uh, that set should bring maybe 300 on a good day. Put that back in there. I've got another bracelet. Or another necklace that I'm gonna sell too should bring a hundred. Uh, but let's get on to the other finds for uh, today. Let's see, we got some Pyrex today. We got all these pieces of Pyrex here, which is there's a uh, refrigerator type dishes and chips and salsa or something. I don't know what it is, but some Pyrex pieces for five bucks. All this stuff was five bucks. It's like seven pieces or something, so those will bring about five a piece. Garage sale or something. Uh, moving on, we got uh, Jewels by Park Lane there. Uh, some brooches, nice ones, and a sterling silver bracelet with a uh, little chain. It's marked uh, 925 Thailand. Right there, and this earrings pair and brooch set that is marked sterling, gold plated sterling. That was five dollars this morning. That was a good deal. Uh, let's see. Next, I picked up this bowl, which is a uh, really really nice. I'm thinking it's silver. I gotta test it. I don't have my acid with me, but uh, just just from experience, this is where experience really helps you. Uh, basically, I pick this up and I go, "Wow, that's light!" And then you tap it, and it's just as light as like tin foil or something. Not exactly, but like tin. And uh, the color, and uh, there's no wear through spots. There's no purpling from plating. There's no signs of anything so no markings that I can find uh, I might need to clean it up and see if there's some markings but there's dents it's really soft it bends really easy uh, only weighs 115 grams but if that's silver I did good I paid $25 for that and this button hook together this was marked 18 and this was marked 15 uh, these ladies that said they, were, they closed their antique store but uh, no monogram, nice uh, button hook with a nice set of uh, English hallmarks. Let's see if I can get a shot. There are the hallmarks. Uh, there's an anchor, a line, and a date code. So Definitely sterling. Uh, this button hook, it's maybe got, I don't know, $10 in silver in it. Not, not all that much, but... Uh, this is polished up, but look, you can see that the, the designs here are almost the same. They're nice, both of them. Uh, so, worth the risk for me. Uh, took the chance, we'll see. I think this is silver. Uh, this alone on eBay, uh, I might get 20 bucks for it, so it's a good deal. Uh, next, I got 
went to one house that had just a ton of jewelry, like a whole tub full of it. The lady told me a guy a guy came and bought all the silver already. But uh, I got this Michael, what was it, Michael Graves uh, necklace here, five bucks. Uh, weighs more than five bucks worth of scrap, so I might be able to sell that on eBay, I don't know. I'll have to look them up. Uh, I got this necklace here. Uh, at an estate sale for a dollar. It's throwing silver. Italy necklace. No big deal. I find those a lot. Uh, let's see. I bought this out of like a little girl's junky jewelry box with a bunch of plastic, and this was in the bottom. Uh, Mark 925. Uh, 50 cents on that, so that's like 5 grams or so. I bought this at a different sale for. 75 cents, and this is a homemade bracelet. Um, but I can tell uh, some of the things are sterling. This heart here is marked sterling there. And uh, the end heart here is marked 925. And uh, probably all the end caps and stuff aren't going to be silver. I'll have to test them, but uh, all the stuff in, the, in between is probably not silver. A couple of them look like they are, but we'll see. But for 75 cents, just in these pieces here that are marked, uh, there's more than $2, $3 in silver, so good deal on those. So moving on at that, uh, same sale I got the Michael Groves stuff, I got this whole bag of costume jewelry. It was uh, three different bags of uh, costume jewelry, each marked $3, miscellaneous jewelry, and uh, I sorted through that and ended up getting some of the stuff uh, that you see here, some of these pieces. And uh, it turned out that there is some good stuff in all that junk. Uh, most notably going to be this one, which is a solid 14 karat gold single earring. And you can see the hole there for the uh, air to escape. And you only really see that in fine jewelry where you see those little holes on the back. And uh, it's marked on a very particular spot. It's marked right there underneath the lever back there. 14K Italy. Uh, I almost didn't see it uh, when I was sorting through it, but I'm glad I did. That's going to be worth about uh, $130, $140 for one single earring. It's fairly heavy, 4.9 grams. Also in that same lot was this uh, gold ball earring. You see these a lot. Uh, that's like half a gram or something. Good deal there. Uh, some of this other stuff just kind of needs to be tested. Like this needs to be tested, but it's really soft and silver wire. I'm sure it's it's silver, but things like these heart earrings need to be tested. Uh, they look like gold, but could be just filled or plated. I got this gold filled uh, pin out of there. One ten ten carat. Uh, some other stuff that needs to go into the testing. Acid test. Uh, this is marked uh, Hickok, USA. Little tie tacks and little bits. This stuff's all gonna add up to some money. Uh, same sale with all the other jewelry was these sterling silver earrings for a dollar. Uh, I checked them because uh, sometimes people put earrings that aren't silver on sterling silver cards. Um, but I checked these and they are marked silver, FAS silver. And I got this ring. For a dollar, this is a silver ring with a little like uh, blue CZ in there. Nice thing there. Got this sterling silver Macy's. These are like little toe rings or something, but on the back it says uh, twenty-five dollars. But it says they crossed it out and they paid six twenty-five, so it was like seventy percent off or something. But I paid a dollar, so there's two dollars of scrap there. I bought this bracelet, which is probably the best uh, deal that was there. Two dollars. Sterling silver bracelet that weighs like eight, nine grams or something, so good money there. She said that the guy came and bought all the sterling. Well, here's some more. Some more little stud earrings. Two dollars. You don't weigh more than like one and a half grams, but they're really nice. They got these stones in them that are that are nice. And I already bought all the other stuff with it, so I just kind of grouped it. Here's a uh, sterling silver and abalone uh, brooch. Little pin. Mark 925 Mexico on the back. 50 cents. That's like uh, 4 or 5 grams. Good deal. This came out of the costume bag. Uh, it's marked 
sterling on the back of the tail there. And uh, again, four or five grams. More good money, four or five dollars. Um, let's see. Here's a little, another little tie clasp thing, Hickok. Uh, no big deal on that. Let's see, sterling silver bracelet, three dollars. Really light bracelet, only weighs three grams or so, but uh, it's good scrap. Fifty cents, little studs, uh, they're sterling silver, CZs. Not bad. Uh, let's see, moving on. I got these Merc, this Merc dime at this same place with, with these. This is your three silver mercury dimes, Philadelphia Mint, Denver Mint, San Francisco Mint, uh, with the little thing on the back. I paid six bucks. Uh, I did pay ten. Uh, so about scrap, but this is gonna go in my own coin collection. Uh, I'll have to show you guys my coin collection sometime. But there's that. I got some things for free. Those two things for free, and. Uh, Bought a new light, a uh, little workforce light, just a single 500 watt one. And I got my other lights here. Uh, it's doing a pretty good job. Uh, I've got one more workforce light at home, which I'm going to use um, for my next video. But hopefully my next video will be on my brand new uh, Nikon D3100, which is in the mail. It's scheduled to get here uh, Monday or Tuesday. So hopefully that will get here soon. This was in there with the, uh, the jewelry. Nice bead, uh, machine cut beads, but that'll go well with my patches that I've got. It's really nice. It's actually got a uh, nice weight to it, nice feel to it, nice design. I don't know. Some of those lots do well, so we'll see. Uh, I bought this single earring and piece of a gold chain for 50 cents. So it was not the best deal, but whatever. So I spent, I don't know, 60 bucks total today, including gas. So, uh, Went ahead and bought myself some breakfast because I thought I did a pretty good job today. Got some cookies too, so hope you all had a good time out there picking. And if it's not uh, garage sale season yet for you, uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, so go ahead and comment, subscribe, uh, like my videos, and uh, I'll keep on listing and keep on making money.